Well, today my conversation is with Dr. Roland Lee Sunkins III. He's a composer, a musician, a minister of music, and an educator. Tell me a little bit about what it was like when you were growing up as a, as a little kid. I'm from Portsmouth, Virginia, um, where I grew up in the, actually I grew up in the project in, um, in Portsmouth. We were, you know, literally poor, but our, um, the education part, the musical part actually came in church. The church we had and, and just had a lot of instruments. So where that was available to us, we couldn't afford those instruments, but we were able to, um, to play the instruments at church. And I remember my first guitar was one I made out of a, a long board and some rubber bands and uh, some nails. I put them together and stretched them out till I could play Batman. And, uh, da -da 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 and my mom heard me play that. And she ended up, uh, they all just stood around one day and heard me play and they started laughing in sixth grade. This, this, is, this is a true story. When they first started uh, integrating to get to the neighborhood that we were integrating uh, school was, it was called Parkview Elementary. We had, I had to walk like a mile through a graveyard to get to school. <laughs> and so one day after we got in that school, a string quartet came from one of the junior high schools there. And I was so intrigued. And I said, my, I, my dad just laid away a violin and because we couldn't buy it, afford to buy it. Uh, but uh, we ended up getting that violin and I started in junior high school just playing orchestra, but I never knew I would take it up as for a lifetime career. I grew up listening to Barry White on the radio. I grew oh, up boy. playing Barry White on my Quiet Storm for a love song show. Tell me about your experience with Barry White. <laughs> well, boy. I played with Barry White for two years in Love Unlimited Orchestra. It was a lot of fame that went along with that. They, and people knew, oh, you play with Love Unlimited? And still, today, some people ask me, in a setting where there's more older people, and, it, and they say, you play with Barry White? You play with Love Unlimited? When I last played with Barry White, uh, he was he was famous for I Love You Just The Way You Are. That was the hit song. But of course, the love thing, just, you know, that was that was it. And a lot, a lot of my influence, came from playing with uh, not just the Barry White Orchestra, but with Love Unlimited Orchestra, but playing with yes. people, uh, famous people that I was able to like sit down with him between shows and said, man, how do you do what you do? And people like, he would like give me a, like a 10 minute lesson. He like, what it, whatever you do with your with your acts, and call it an instrument, call it acts. Uh, Doc Severson once told me, he said, whatever you do with it, don't stop. That was his advice. And, and I took that advice. Can you show me a little something today um, musically speaking. I got lemonade, so I got my voice ready to go. We haven't had a vocal warm-up like, la, 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 I, la, I remember la, la. from school. So we're going to go from the bottom of your range to the top of your range, just saying, me, yeah. So we're going to go, me, yeah. Go okay. all the way to the top. Let's try it. Ready? Go. Yeah. And let that, yeah. Let it out. Yeah. One, two, ready, go. Me, You actually put together uh, a gospel choir in Kalamazoo, right? It partnered oh, yeah. with the Kalamazoo uh, Symphony Orchestra. Um, what was that like? Taking the time to write the parts out, and then you write out a lyric sheet, a lyric sheet where you just have the lyrics on. So everybody, everybody would have a part. And then, so I used to make this joke up because we had a lot of black folk and a lot of white folk, and it, and you know you had to clap a certain way. I said it don't matter how you clap. If you, if you clap on, on beat one and three, that's good. And if you clap on beat two and four, that's good because God's getting praise on every beat. So you had to make all of that match with all of the singers. The same thing was done back in the classics, Bach and Beethoven. Those guys, had to, they had to write for the whole symphony orchestra and the part for the choir. But this is gospel music. Sometimes you would add a uh, saxophone. Or you had to add a live uh, electric bass. favorite type of song we could um, talk about it. okay there's a a, a, a christian album uh, let me think um i'm blessed because god said i'm blessed i'm blessed because okay. god said i'm blessed mm -hmm. i'm blessed because god, god said i'm blessed, said I'm, blessed. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the head and not the, tail, not the tail above mm -hmm. and not beneath mm -hmm. i stand above mm -hmm. the rest because i'm blessed okay that's more of a praise song 
It you is. Know, praise and worship. It's more of it a is. praise song than it is a. The, you know, sometimes praise and worship is so closely related. A lot of people look at worship songs as being the slower one. That would be yeah. more of an up tempo, up tempo where you have you unblessed because God said I'm blessed. You say that higher. I, I'm blessed because God said right. I'm blessed. I'm said, blessed because God said I'm blessed. There like, you go. That's more than that. I'm blessed. Cause God, God said I'm blessed. You know, I was looking over like some of these names, the Winans, Donnie okay. McClurkin. I love the song mm -hmm. he does called Stand. Arance mm -hmm. Allen, Vanessa Williams, oh, yeah. Lou Rawls. Mm -hmm. You played with them all. How did that happen? A lot of it happens if you can get a, a recording out. That's another part of the industry that I was, that I was blessed. Because in 1993, the 700 Club in Virginia Beach, Virginia, used to have a competition once a year called Star Search. That was there where you have people from all over around the world uh, send, you send in a tape so you could uh, record, make a uh, record with a major uh, recording uh, company. So I actually won out of 5,000 people, but through that, I had a CD done. And so people would hear my CD here, could be anywhere in the United States, they would hear my song. They're like, uh, will you come here and play this for us? Never look, I'm blessed. Because God said I'm blessed, but instead of saying, just I'm blessed, go ahead and belt it out. So, I'm blessed because God said I'm blessed. Go ahead and do it. Ready? Go. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Because God, God said I'm blessed. blessed. Keep going. And mm -hmm. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Because God, cause God said, I'm blessed. said I'm blessed. Mm -hmm. I'm the head I'm and not the head, tail. Not the tail. Above going. and not beneath. Mm -hmm. I stand above the I'm rest because uh -huh. I'm blessed. Yeah. 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 I can tell what a great teacher you are. I, it's you make learning <laughs> fun. I can tell. I I've I've tried taking lessons, and I can tell when when there's somebody that I get it. You know, I may. Oh yeah, get it. You gotta relate. You look at you. You teach according. You teach according to your education or what you learn, <laughs> but you have to also teach according to the individuals that are in front of you. How do we right. make this fun? How do we make them want to do it? How do we make them want to continue? Right. Because as an educator, you're gonna be up in front because you gotta. You have a you have to present a concert, and if it's not good, then that your whole career could be based on a bad concert. <laughs> okay, well we'll just keep it. We'll keep on singing. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> keep it on. Keep it on. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of Greater Kalamazoo.